if you're going my way. I haven't gone that way in years. Listen, you're not running a judicial system. You're running a revolving door. I can't be bothered with you. Yeah, you heard him, Hammer. Now cool it. I think we're gonna talk. I make love. Watching a ball game on TV, an afternoon nap, and the sound of whiskers growing. But this particular Sunday, I promised Velda I'd take her to a wedding, and that meant a shave and a necktie. I could always take a nap during the ceremony. Use your key. My closet's not the neatest, but at least it keeps the moths on their toes. Hey, I'm alone. You can come in. How do I look? Terrific. <laughs> I thought you were Velda. Yeah, well, I wanted you to see the uniform. Hey, Joey, you look great. And I wanted to say thanks again. Forget it. When do you start? This afternoon. Uh, first job. First shift of the new job. Listen, I hope you don't mind me coming by here. Uh, I just came from the cemetery. You know, your dad would have been real proud of you. <laughs> I think he'd have been more pleased if this was a cop's uniform. Hey, come on. Will you stop beating yourself? That was a long time ago. You were a young kid. You made a mistake. You played with some matches. It's all behind you. Some people don't think so. Some people called it arson. Look, you paid the bill, right? So you can't be a cop, you can't be a lawyer. So what? So what? It was to be a lawyer anyway. <laughs> Listen, I want you to keep your nose clean now and do a good job. Don't forget, I pulled strings to get you on. Don't let me down. You won't regret it, Mike. Joey! You look terrific! So do you! <laughs> Have I got some girls for you? Is she kidding me or something? Wedding's always affected this way. Come on, we're late. All right. Joey, we'll drop you on the way. That'd be great. Mike, are you ready? Do I look ready? Hey. I love weddings. Joey Peel was a good kid with a lot of grimy history on his back. I had a bet riding he was straight now. And if I won, we both won. I liked the odds. It was a pleasure giving him a lift to his new job. Joe Peel reporting for duty, sir. Oh, wait a minute, kid. This ain't the Army. You're signing in for work, not duty. And call me Arnie. Not sir. Okay, Arnie. All right. <laughs> Might as well start doing your rounds. My other guy's checking floors from 1 to 20. 
You start on 21 and work your way up to the penthouse. Okay, glad to. Hey, it's Sunday for Pete's sakes. Don't enjoy it so much. <laughs> your second home? When I talk to you, I don't expect to be ignored. Let it go, Mr. Barrington. His close friend was killed in a fire yesterday. Right. Okay. Sorry about Joey and Mike. How did it happen? Well, we don't know yet. What do you mean? Why not? A building gets torched, a kid gets killed. What are you saying? It's just routine? I'll get the details later? Off, Mike. You're a pro. You know the moves. It's been less than 24 hours. The arson boys haven't found anything yet. Yeah, well, if it's arson, it's murder. You don't have to tell me my job, Mike. Pat, I'm not trying to tell you your job. If it's murder, it's my job. I put the kid in that building. I know how you feel, and it hurts. Now, stop feeling guilty and stay out of this. If I find out anything, you'll be the first person to know, I promise. All right, thanks. The terrible thing I heard, this explosion. And that's when I first realized something was wrong. Excuse me, gentlemen. Captain Chambers wants to see you. My name is Mike Hammer. I'm a private investigator. Joey Peel was a good friend of mine. Oh, it was awful, Mike. It was his first day on the job. Did anybody else get hurt? Well, we got everybody out of the building, and my other man was already on his way down, and the heating guy had left. Heating guy? The oil delivery and maintenance check. On well, Sunday? Which company was it? The Tri-State. We tried to get the kid out. We really tried, but the smoke was so thick, we didn't even know which floor he was on. Okay, I understand. Take it easy. But it's just real tough to take. He was such a happy kid, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. Listen, you know who, uh, who owns the building? It's the Parker Holdings Corporation. And they're gonna be sick about it, because the building's a mess from the 21st on up. Thanks. Captain Chambers wanted to see the guys? Well, didn't he? I figured the Parker Holdings Corporation could tell me more about the recent boom in their business. to see Mr. Parker. Name? Mike Hammer. Telephone number? To reach Parker? To reach me. Oh. Um, I'll give you mine if you give me yours. What are we swapping? Numbers. Uh, five, 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 two, five, seven, nine, four, seven. Seven. I'll make a couple of notes, thanks. <laughs> I'm sure we can see eye to eye about this, Terry. I'm in a state of shock, Miss Bacon. My building's nearly a total loss. I'm sure you understand. Don't get up, please. I beg your pardon? Please, don't beg. I'm Mike Hammer. I'm a private investigator. I'm Terry Bacon. Good to meet you. 
And you're Norman Parker. Yeah, that's right. What is all this? Who let you in? Nobody let me in. They just couldn't keep me out. Make much on the insurance? I checked you out, pal. It's a real coincidence. You're about ready to go bankrupt and suddenly there's a fire. Get out of here. How lucky can one guy get, huh, Miss Bacon? That's what I'm trying to find out, Mr. Hammer. I'm with American Federated Insurance. Do you leave or do I call the police? 911 for emergency. Listen. Joey Peel was the son of a close friend of mine. In fact, I got him the security job in your building. He's dead now. If you had anything to do with setting that fire, Mr. Parker, you're going to join him. I'll see to it personally. You know, you increased your insurance coverage about two months ago. That makes me very suspicious. What about you, Miss Bacon? That's why I'm here. Then carry on, Miss Bacon. I will, Mr. Hammer. You can't throw accusations at me. Oh, yeah? Shakes one up a little, doesn't he? Hammer? My people will cooperate totally with the police, the fire department, and American Federated Insurance. We'll find the answers. Now, I hope that satisfies you. Not even one tiny little bit, Mr. Parker. Miss Bacon, pleasure. Mr. Hammer, don't go sticking your nose into places where it doesn't belong. Do you understand? Take a flyer, garlic breath. Ah! talk to you and there you were in an elevator yeah well we all have our ups and downs you said you knew joey peel you want to tell me more about him what do you want to know did you know he had a problem as a juvenile Maybe someone hired him to torch that building. What do you think? Did somebody hire him? What about Joey? Mike? Mike? Miss? I think we're gonna need an ambulance. We often do. on A&E. The girls in Muji Barnes' courier service gave a whole new meaning to the words pick up and deliver. You look awful. Thanks. I think you look dancing with a 10-foot gorilla. <laughs> and you had two goons who knew just what to do. No joy, huh? Not even a giggle. Professional muscle. It's all right. I'll take care of them. Hard people, Michael. These are not the type of people to mess with lightly. Lightly is not what I had in mind. Oh, uh, did you check out Captain Chambers' photo collection? Moochkins, I'm touching all the official bases on this one. I'm just having trouble finding home plate. Tell you what I'll do. You give me what you got, and I'll go to work on it myself. Thanks, Moo. I need a ride. You got it. Donna? Take this man wherever he wants to go. My pleasure, Mike. Now, where would you like her to drive you? How about to the brink of distraction? <clears throat> Sounds good. Fagan, you're so sure that Joey Peel torched this building, you're gonna have to tell me how. 
so far nobody, including you, has been able to find anything. They'll find it. Yeah? No way. You're so positive. That's right, and I'll tell you why. Joey Peel promised me he was going to keep his nose clean, and I believed him. That's it? That's all you've got, and you believed him. That's right. No luck, Ter. Zero. If this place was torched, we can't find out how. Keep looking. Okay, but not forever. On a limited budget. Inspector, there's little white spots on a lot of this stuff. Can you tell me what it is? Dried up water spots. The water was boiled by the fire, and whatever minerals in it left the residue. Well, what'd it do, rain in here? <laughs> Just about. Sprinkler system. That must have been some sprinkler system. Those water drops were inside the air conditioning duct. Meaning? I don't know. Strange, that's all. Larry? Hi. This is Martin Stevens, head of our claim department. I told you about my camera. Yeah. Stevens? Listen, I'm sorry about your friend Joey Peel. Yeah, sure. All it cost us is money. You gonna pay the claim? Without evidence of arson, we have to pay. That's a business decision. Mr. Stevens, you realize you're paying off whoever killed Joey Peel. That turns my stomach a little. You think I enjoy this? I have no choice. Look, there's no point in you coming back to the office. I wasn't planning to. The hammer? I was hoping maybe somebody would ask me out for a drink. I thought you'd never ask. You know, Mr. Hammer, I don't think you trust me. Sweetheart, I don't trust anybody. Well, then this will give you a chance for a full cross-examination. Chemical on West End Avenue in Sea Charlie. He can tell you. You're not going to hire a bodyguard, are you, Mike? What do you think I pay you for? Oh. Light and easy, Jenny speaking. No, you just missed him. It's Well, maybe Ozzy or Velvet could catch up with him. Okay. He says you. Me? Uh huh. I never knew a whole lot about chemistry, but I was hoping the Casper Chemical Company had the elements I was looking for.
Sometimes asking questions gets you an answer. Sometimes it just gets you more questions. Running into my old pals in the elevator gave me a warm feeling in my fists. This guy did such a good job, I figured he deserved a pat on the back. No offense, pal. I won't take a taxi, I'll take a tank. Hey, get him, boys! Don't let him get away! What did Moochie have to say? So watch out for two guys named Al and Paulie. I guess you found them, right? I found them, all right. Ah. Listen, Oz, count out 30 bucks and give it to Velda, will you? You can throw the rest away. Can I throw it away at the track? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Well, that's the name of the horse in the sixth at Belmont to win. Oh, I get it. Hey, Varicel Corporation. Mean anything to you? No, not yet. Thanks, Oz. Sure. Excuse me, I need a lift. If you're going my way. I'd love to, sweetheart, but I haven't gone that way in years. Thanks a million. They're a cell corporation. Computers. They carry their coverage, but they're in very good financial shape. Fire would do nothing but give them grief. That could make a competitor very happy. You might be right. Where'd you get that slip of paper? The most unlikely place. To get permission? No, to take the rest of the day off. Well, that's me. Mike, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Ozzy is scared stiff. The two thugs you went after? Well, now they're following him. Where is he? Your apartment. It was the only place I could think of. Okay, tell him to stay put. No permission? No permission. Anything else? Just, just the money. Look, you're gonna keep getting this till you tell us what we want to know. One more time. There was a piece of paper with the money, and what happened to it? I'm telling you, there wasn't anything else. Okay. I shot him. Did you see it, Mike? Did you see it? Did you see what I did? Oh, 
You got anything you want to say? Huh? Yeah. You're a dead man. Ozzy didn't seem to be bothered by the threat on his life. I was. <laughs> well, I, I wasn't going to let Mike get killed, was I? So I leaped across the room. I jabbed my heel into his instep, and I gave him a karate chop right to his wrist. His gun dropped into my waiting hand, and when the other guy turned, I beat him to the draw. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, if you don't believe me. Right, Mike? Yeah, that's exactly how it happened, Ozzy. See that? Listen, can I see you for a minute? Sure, Mike. My friend Mike needs to see me for a minute. <laughs> what can I do for you, Mike, as if uh, saving your life wasn't enough? What you can do for me now is save your own life. Huh? Remember, Al, the guy with the gun you took away? He made bail. Oh. So if I were you, I'd play down on your waist with his buddy. I want to do something foolish like... Get even? Yes, sir. Look, Ozzy, it's Sunday. Why don't you take a walk in the park and talk to a pigeon? Well, I'll take it easy, will you? Like me? Good idea. It's for you. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right there. The Barisol building just blew up, and it's still burning. Oh, oh boy. This time, there were two innocent victims like Joey. And once again, Terry was on the case with her boss, Martin Stevens. Uh, why don't you tell me you had some suspicions about this place? I had to put on special security. I told Terry. There wasn't much to go on, just a slip of paper from a thug. Should have been enough. Look, if he just said something, giving us some kind of a clue. He's too busy falling down to give us any clues. Check this out. So those watermarks again. Listen, Mike, uh, I want to put you on retainer. Work for us. You mean I'm not good enough? <laughs> can use all the help we can get. You get a free ride on this one, Mr. Stevens. I'm in it for Joey Peel. Well, I appreciate that. Here it comes in. You want to talk to me? Yes, you were here when the fire broke out? Broke out, lady. That fire came after the damnedest explosion I ever heard. What was that like? A roar, clap of thunder, scary. Anybody hurt? Two, dead. Others hurt, but we got them out. They said it was like the air was on fire. Like a gas explosion? Sort of. Well, what do you think? Was it gas? I mean, did you smell anything? No, we don't use gas. We use oil. But that was OK, too. The guy from the maintenance company was just here. Just now? Today, before the explosion. He, he said everything was OK. Tri-state heating? Yeah, try state. There, there was one other thing. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Terry. Let him finish. Go on. Well, I was this pipe. Uh, look, looked funny. Mike, we'll take care of it. Thank you. I thought Terry was acting strange, and I hoped I was wrong. Excuse me, what about that pipe? I'd really like to see it. All right. It's over here. See, I noticed these fresh wrench marks on the oil pipe, and then the cap was loose. Uh-huh. So somebody took it off and then put it back on again just a little while ago. You said there was a maintenance check. Sure, but oil was being delivered at the same time. I mean, would you unscrew that if oil was coming through? No, I certainly wouldn't. Watch your hand. Here we are. There it is. What do you think? I think something else was coming through that pipe. That's what I think. Okay? Sure, Mike. Any little problem? Just bring it to me. Thank you, Ozzy. I certainly will. Now, uh, a gas that's colorless, odorless, explodes hot, and leaves no trace, huh? Except for those dried water marks. Got it. It's in the pipeline. Yo, Melba. Hey. Give me the New York Technical Institute Library Chemical Division. Right away, Ozzy. If you're interested in chemistry, I know a great experiment. Yeah? Your lab or mine? Melba helps me with my research. Oh, Mike, she has a gift. She certainly does. 
Question. What about Tri-State? Answer. They're big, they cover the whole city, and lately they've won a bunch of do-gooder awards for hiring the handicapped. What kind of handicapped? Ex-cons. It's called rehabilitation. Rehabilitation? Who's in charge of this civic project? A guy by the name of Harry Stark. He's their chief of maintenance. Want a picture? I think I've got one. Thanks, Oz. I had a feeling Harry Stark might throw some light on how Joey was killed. Even if the gas didn't smell, something else did. Would you like to sign up for service, sir? I'd love to, but I don't own a heater. Could have fooled me. My name is Mike Hammer. I'm a private investigator. I need some information. How badly do you need it? What can you tell me about the Barisol Corporation? Well, didn't that burn down yesterday? Right. Elsie, could you please pull the Barisol file for this gentleman? My pleasure. Is this what you're looking for? It'll do. Oh, Mr. Hammer, here's our chief of maintenance, Mr. Stark. Yes, we've met. Oh! Oh! Watch your step. I figured the assault charge I filed on Harry Stark would turn to arson and maybe even murder. But instead, it just turned to dust. I just don't believe it. I didn't... You let him go. You let Harry Stark just walk out of here. Yeah, I've got more important things to do than play custodian to the people you drag in here. Yeah, right. The man is a killer. He's an arsonist, that's all. He was booked for assault. You made the charge yourself. What do you want me to do? Plead for denial of bail on an assault charge? I expect you to know what the assault charge was for. It was to book him and to keep him here until... Until what? Until you beat up somebody else to try and get what you call evidence? No, we play by the rules here. Yeah, whose rules, Barry? Than yours? Look. I don't think you understand something. This is not a game. A kid is dead. You understand that? Hey, a kid drop is... it, Hammer. Hey, drop I'll drop you, pal. Hey, come on, yeah. come on, Hammer. Show us how stupid you are. Go on, hit an officer of the court. And you'll find out again what lovely city accommodations we have here. Yeah. Listen, you're not running a judicial system. You're running a revolving door. Harry Stark is guilty and you know it. But you let him go out of here because you want to get a case that's going to make you more famous. The great prosecutor. That's right, I am. And my greatest moment will be the day you make a mistake and kill somebody innocent. Then I'll put you away for a long time. In the meantime, I can't be bothered with you. Yeah, you can't be Yeah, you heard him, Hammer. Now cool it. Cool it, eggplant. Don't do it, Mike. He's got a wife and a new child. And as worthless as he is, she still depends upon him. Yeah, for what? Hey, what kind of crack was that? I don't need you to... I say, Mike, did you know that Harry Stark was sprung before there was even time to book him? Couldn't be helped. I'll put my people on it. Your people, what are they going to do? Threaten them with a brutal committee report? Mike, they play by the rules. It's smarter than what Ozzy's doing. You what is Ozzy doing? He's making like John Wayne. He's carrying a gun. He's carrying what? A gun, a rod, a heater, a piece. I told him to get rid of it. He said he's dangerous with a gun. He's right. He's liable to shoot his toes off. <laughs> See you later. I didn't tell them anything. I didn't fall over. Only they got my gun. Honey, don't talk now. Just take it easy. Mike. Yeah. 
question. What kind of gas? Answer? Hydrogen. Thanks, pal. I knew it was Harry Stark who hurt Ozzy, but was he the one who killed Joey? Maybe Arnie could help me find out. Did you see it? Yes, sir. The oil pipe leading from the street has new wrench marks on it. And I called Tri-State about it, but they don't know anything. Now, somebody disconnected it from the storage tank. Now, does that make any sense about the explosion? Yeah, it sure does. It means I know what exploded, now I know how it happened. You're a good man, Arnie. Thanks. That's the least I could do when Parker told me to keep you out of the building. But what got him so wound up? Fear. <laughs> Take care of yourself. You too. out of surgery, but he's not out of danger. They won't know until tomorrow. Coffee. Thanks. I just made it. I believe you. Listen, here's a list of the deliveries and maintenance checks that Tri-State makes. There's no mention anywhere of Sunday, and that's the day the building was torched. Why would they pick a Sunday? I don't know. Fewer people, less chance of discovery. Who knows? Maybe they're humane. Maybe they only kill for money. Here's a building I pass every day on my way home. Oh, yeah? It's shut down and boarded up. Why would anybody deliver fuel to a shut down building? Mm. Well, anyway, it's not scheduled for Sunday. Sweetheart, this building is so empty that all week is Sunday. There's a delivery schedule for tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Wait a minute. You know, the pattern has been... For about two months before each building gets torched, the insurance coverage is increased. Makes sense. If you torch for money, torch for a lot of money. And the company is always American Federated. That means that somebody connected with the company is letting people increase their coverage just before the fire. Somebody like Terry Bacon? I sure hope not. Seeing a friend sick in the hospital is never a pleasant thing. I wanted to cure the sickness that put him there. Hello, uh, Terry Bacon, please. No, uh, no, 
message. Uh, listen, could you please switch me to Martin Stevens? Tell him Mike Hammer's calling. Thanks. Mr. Stevens. Yeah, I'm trying to locate Terry Bacon. Uh, have you got any idea where she might be? Well, listen, uh, I'd appreciate it if you could deliver a message to her. Tell her I know when and where the next one's gonna be, okay? Thanks. If she shows up, Oz, it could be the hottest date she's ever had. job when he wasn't out beating up people. in hydrogen gas. You can put everything back just the way it was, and nobody knows. Uh, what I can't figure is how you set it off. I know you just didn't wait for a lucky spark. Uh, no, Mike, we just phoned you. The spark in the bell sets it off. Oh, yeah? You know, I'm almost relieved to see you. Sure you are. Now, why don't you just release my friend Harry so he can take you upstairs? You won't be lonely up there, Mike. We'll phone you. I have to start a fire? I got news for you, pal. The fire will start here the minute you pull that trigger. What are you talking about? Ask your friend Harry. That hose has been kicked out for some time. If we had any more hydrogen down here, you could call us the Hindenburg blimp. He's not kidding. Don't me. fire that gun. And you can forget me. <laughs> Isn't this nice, Harry? You've got company. <laughs> Don't smoke, boys. It could be hazardous to your health. Should have killed you first time out. That's right, you should have. It's Harry. It's all over, pal. We've got Harry and Stevens in a building full of gas for evidence. What do you think? I'd do that if I were you. It could be dangerous. Shut up.
It was good to know that Terry Bacon had nothing to do with the men who killed Joey Peel. They were dead and already forgotten. But I knew one thing, as long as I was alive, Joey would never be forgotten. Tonight, he was a legend, known for his outrageously flamboyant style as much as for his music. Liberace on Biography at 8 Eastern, 9 Pacific. Now, Remington makes a career change from bodyguard to babysitter. Next on a and &E.